First of all, let's meet drama teacher Mr. Miles. Oh, hello. Hi, Mr. Miles. Hi. Do you have any tips for young people who need to make a presentation? Certainly. Um, first of all, I'd say it's essential to be smart but comfortable. Um, you must take pride in your appearance. If you're wearing a uniform, make sure that you look, look the part. But let's ask someone else. Let's meet Lord St. John Miles III. I think you must have an, an outward, open posture, so you can present in the most effective way. For me, something I do naturally is the use of hand gestures. As you see, I'm doing it now. Um, but don't be over the top with your gestures. Sometimes it can be quite distracting. So now we're going to meet Signor Milano, who is going to talk to us about eye contact and props. When we talk about uh, presenting, eh? I think that one of the most important things is to keep the eye contact with your audience. Okay, sometimes you may be a little bit shy, like me. So one tip I give you. If you look just above the head, here, you don't have to look in the eye, but it looks like you're looking in the eye, you know? i show you. Rather than look at here, you look at here. You see? Now, for a few really important tips on vocality, we're going to go back to Mr. Miles. Another thing that you can consider is the use of pace. Now, pace is obviously the speed with which you talk. Sometimes you get nervous, you start talking quickly, people can't understand what you're saying. Well, you don't want that to happen either. And I think um, you've got to measure the way that you speak. Do it orderly, stay calm, um, but do it so people can understand you. Don't talk too slowly, because otherwise it gets a bit boring. So just measure your pace so that it's the right, uh, the right speed for people to, to be interested. OK, we're nearly at the end. Now we're going to have a look at how to actually use that valuable thing in presentations, the PowerPoint. Here is Bruce Milo. G'day, I'm Bruce Milo. First off, don't wander in front of the screen. Not only is it quite distracting, but you get the light in your eyes. Oh no, it's truth. Always go in prepared. There's nothing worse than listening to somebody doing a presentation and they haven't got a clue what they're going on about. So make sure you do your research. That's really important. Sometimes, if you're a little bit unsure, then you can always have little cue cards, but make sure they're quite small, and you can just use them to jog your memory. Okay, mate? Once you've done your presentation, you could be asked a few questions from your audience, so make sure you're prepared. Don't look flustered, be confident. Remember, you're the expert. <laughs>